Welcome to a new video and this will be an answer video or an extension video to another video from another channel Christopher from I think it's called Christopher's Xperia fan channel I don't know sorry dude uh, you renamed your channel so often so I don't know the channel name right now but he made a comparison between the Xperia uh, XZ Premium XZ2 and XZ3 and the 4k video stabilization so I want to add to it and this is what we want to gonna do so let's get started. So the first thing that we're testing out is the stabilization with the Xperia 5 Mark II and the new Photo Pro app from the Xperia 1 Mark III. So this is what you see right now. So I'm recording in 4K with the back main camera. Granted, this camera is a Sony sensor, so Christopher's claim was that Samsung sensors have problem with the 4K stabilization. I'm not sure if it's a sensor problem, I think it's more a software optimization problem. And I had the feeling that uh, the bitrate was a bit lower on the older generations, where it is like easier to process and easier than to yeah, handle the electronic image stabilization uh, that uh, surely was active. In 4K. So this is the uh, image stabilization that you can get on the Xperia 5 Mark II. I walk a little bit faster maybe uh, than my normal vlogging speed and uh, this is the new stabilization that you can get with the Xperia 5 Mark II and the Photo Pro app from the Xperia 1 Mark III. So this might improve in the future we will see but this is what you can expect. What I will do right now is switch to the Xperia 1 Mark II and the default Sony application to see how stabilization in 4K is running there, how good is it there and I will not film myself for this, I will just film what's in front of me so you can see a little bit of this as well. So let's switch to the other camera. So now we have the video recording 4K on the Xperia 1 Mark II and here you can see my walking speed and I'm walking through this ground here. I'm recording in 4K 30 frames per second. Image stabilization is enabled and of course I also have HDR enabled because I had it enabled before on the 5 Mark II as well. And as you can see here I think on a, on a display it looks very very stable. I'm not sure what you can see then when um, I walk here if it is stable enough or not and if I shake too much. This is the main camera sensor that I'm using here right now. It's a Sony sensor granted but I think the zoom sensor should be a Samsung one. Now zooming is like always hard to stabilize so let me switch to the zoom sensor to see if this is stable enough. So now we have the zoom lens in 4k and let's see how this works out. It looks on the display very smooth and uh, without any issues you can see me uh, walking you are pretty good and uh, Walking and stabilization is not the only test that you want to do, but what about panning because panning is also important for those cameras and do they stutter? Is it not stuttering? 4k 30 frames per second uh, Now recording with the Xperia 5 Mark II and the new Photo Pro app and uh, the zoom the tele zoom camera I think it's a three times 2.9 times zoom and uh, this is what you can expect 4k 30 frames per second in terms of stabilization on the 5 mark 2 with the new photo pro app is there any difference in contrast to the xperia 1 mark 2 i don't think so how's panning i think this is also very smooth and fine without any big issues so yeah, in general, I think I'm happy with the stabilization on the newer Sony devices in 4K. And just for the sake of it, also the ultra wide angle, the ultra wide angle is so wide that stabilization should, shouldn't be a problem. 4K, 30 frames per second, HDR enabled. By the way, HDR enabled in all my videos uh, here that I shot. So Xperia 1 Mark II, default Sony application. I think this looks pretty good and how is panning? I think panning should be also very smooth. So now the ultra wide angle stabilization 4K, how is it working on the Xperia 5 Mark II? Uh, this is what you can expect from the Xperia 5 Mark II. And I have it again on my selfie stick uh, to see how good it is working, how good is HDR working with the sun in the background now. Is my face still exposed or not? 
and uh, yeah questions over questions over questions uh, I think the new application the photo pro app from the Xperia 1 mark 3 on the Xperia 5 Mark II works wonders in terms of uh, HDR a bit, a bit of stabilization improvements as well as of course the external audio support that you can hear right now, which is also pretty nice. So write down in the comment section what you think about uh, this stabilization on a 4K on the Xperia 5 Mark II with the new Photo Pro app or the old Xperia 1 Mark II, old <laughs> the Xperia 1 Mark II with the old Sony application. Uh, that's everything for this video. Uh, like, share and subscribe and until the next time, bye!